Hi, I'm Glenn Caruso, head football coach at McAllister College. And in this tape, we're going to talk about the expanded stress value theory. In the earlier tape, we talked about the idea of stress value, what it means by formation to put stresses on the defense. Today, we're going to talk about not just stressful formations, but how we utilize that to disguise our two-back run game when we include the quarterback run game plus one football and pass action run. Yesterday when we talked about stress value, it was pretty simple. We talked about formations and by formation, how that allows us to put more pressure or stress on a defense based on a couple things. A number of gaps that they have to cover, the number of underneath zones, and the number of over-the-top pass coverage zones that they have to cover. Let's briefly review the idea of stress value. Now before we get into film at the end of this tape, which we're going to show you 10 or 12 clips, I want to make sure we understand what we're talking about when we say stress value. A very brief one minute review on the expanded tape I talked about yesterday. We talk about stress value, it's very simple. A defense, when they line up, have got to be responsible for covering a couple different areas. Obviously, any defender either covers a gap in the run game or a zone in the pass game. It's pretty simple. We always say that the gaps are defined by how many linemen, tight ends, offensive line, personnel type guys you have out there. And the gaps, I'm sorry, the zones are defined by how many areas you have on the field. Typically, most guys, when you talk about it, there's five underneath zones that you can hit. There's five over the top zones. Very briefly, it's based off the fact that if we're talking about a pro formation right here, there are in a pro formation gaps, unders, and overs. In the pro formation, the six-man surface that we have has created seven gaps. The number of underneath zones that we, they can hit, this guy can run here, he can run here, he can exploit there, he can exploit there, he can exploit there. They can hit five underneath zones. You're always going to be able to hit five underneath zones. And then over the top, this guy can run here, this guy can run here, this guy can run there, and threaten, legitimately threaten those areas. So that's three. You add those all up, and your stress value for I-Pro formation is 15. As you move along and do your different formations, you'll see how certain formations are going to create higher numbers of areas that that offensive formation can stress. Now, you're going to look at me right now, and some of you are going to say, well, my tailback can run down the middle of the seam. If your tailback's going to be a deep third free safety or any free safety coming from seven yards depth, doesn't matter. Call whatever friggin' play you want. You're going to win. But outside of that, what we're talking about is legitimate areas of the field where you can threaten. Let's take that back out and let's put them right there in the slot. So we went from a pro to a flank formation or a pro balanced formation. Okay. Balanced. 11 personnel, whatever you might be in. Now we still have the seven run gaps. We can still hit the five underneath zones. But now, because I moved the guy towards the line of scrimmage, he has a legitimate vertical threat. So I can now hit four over the top zone. Stress value of that, add that up to 16. Very simply, this is a coverage that you'll see a lot more too high, uh, a formation that you're going to see a lot more too high safety coverages to than I pro. I pro, you're typically going to get a lot more one high because you can only exploit those areas. Take it one more step, and then we'll get into our expansion of this in this video. Let's take this wide receiver. Let's put him right there. Now we got to an ace formation. You get to ace, now you've created an extra run gap. So you have eight run lanes to defend. You still got five underneath zones. You still have four over the top zones that you can legitimately and effectively exploit if properly called stress value of this is 17. So it's pretty simple.